Hello, this is Sam from Form Labs. Today I'm going to be going through um, sort of the introductory walkthrough on our new preform software feature, Scan to Model, for uh, basing raw 3D and Toro scans um, and even altering uh, built models in other CAD softwares. But today we're going to be going through sort of the basic walkthrough um, in the first of hopefully what will become a video series of all the, the sort of different things you can do with Scan to Model. Um, so first things first, here's preform. You want to make sure um, a Form 2, Form 3B, or Form 3B L printer is selected uh, in the uh, printer information or job setup window. And while you're there, select the material and, and layer height that you want to print it at. Uh, with that done, on the left-hand side, you'll see a tooth icon is now appeared. And uh, this is scan to model. So the workflow is relatively straightforward. You click on this icon. It allows you to import your scan. Uh, for this one, I'm going to just show you Andrew's um, scan and how to build it. So we're going to take um, his lower first. So now we have the lower, and the tooltips instruct you what to do as well. But what you want to do is you want to rotate this arch so that the occlusal surface is facing up. And um, ideally, the occlusal plane is parallel to the build platform. And one way to make that a little bit easier is I really like using the view, view tools in Preform over on the right-hand side. It snaps you down to a side view. And so now you can make really uh, minor adjustments to the angulation of the arch and occlusal plane. And now I'm hitting the left button on the view here, and I've rotated over. And now I can see it from uh, the, the molar side or the rear side of the arch. And I can position it just a little bit better. Um, so now that it's in position, like we've got here, um, you hit next. And the trim position, uh, which default comes in at zero, is where the scan will be trimmed. So if you want to clean up uh, extraneous data, uh, you know, or non-critical parts of the scan, uh, this is the way to do it. And you just drag this slider and review what it's cutting. And that's where it's going to cut and extrude from. Um, if you wanted to keep all the scan data, you can leave this in the leftmost position or a zero value for uh, the position, and it will just keep all the scan data. Trimming it will make a better looking uh, a base overall because it's a nice clean cut uh, as well. Um, so next is the base height. So this is applying additional base thickness from the plane cut. So if you type in three here, this is going to be from the plane cut down three more millimeters of model. Um, if you didn't use the uh, plane tool to trim any uh, um, of this, the scan surface away, what it's going to do is it's going to be from the lowest part of your scan. So for this, if you go to side view, you can clearly see the lowest part is touching the build platform here. So it's going to apply three millimeters from here down. Uh, that's important for doing powdle models as well. So I'll just for this example, I'll keep it at three and I'll hit create and it will now cut cleaner model and add the additional three millimeters in base. Okay, now we have our built and complete model. Um, so ideally, uh, review it, make sure it looks good. If you see any sort of extrusion issues or you know you review it and all of a sudden some critical anatomy is removed, you can always undo or hit the restart button. But once uh, you hit done, and, and uh, you can treat it like any part or model brought into preform. So you can print it right on the build platform for the fastest prints. You could uh, position it or rotate it for a, a vertical print if you're doing lots of models all at once, um, or anything you want like normal. Uh, and this model is ready to be printed. Uh, so that does it for this uh, walkthrough on scan to model. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Sam. Thank you very much.